Whatever happened to Jeremy Lin? One minute he was the king of New York, and now he's the backup point guard for the Houston Rockets. But at least he's getting them checks in Houston, so props to him for that. But I'm trying to bring back Lin's sanity today. It's the 100 point challenge in 2K14, and Lin's sanity is making a return to Houston. And yes, this is the Rockets against the Rockets, and for the record, I was the one who readied up first as the Rockets. So isn't it like proper 2K etiquette to pick a different team after your opponent readies up as the same team? Uh, but I figured whatever, I'll just play it through Rockets vs Rockets. And uh, I'm the team with the blue retro jerseys, he's the one in the white, he is the home team. And so in the bottom right corner, the scoreboard, my score is the one on the top, uh, just so you don't get confused. But you'll notice that as the game goes on, because it's going to say like a thousand by the end of this game. Because Jeremy Lin is shooting on point right now. A minus quality mid-range baseline shot. 11 points. Now for Jeremy Lin, he's a 75 overall in this game. Primarily a scoring point guard. He has an 80 close range shot. A 72 medium. Oh, give me that 3. D plus quality. But a 75 3 point attribute is money for Jeremy Lin this game. And now I gotta say, it's 16 to 7. The blue Jeremy Lin is playing a lot better than the white Jeremy Lin. Oh, look at that. The post moves, the spin, and floating it up over Dwight Howard. Now, one thing I found interesting about the attributes for Jeremy Lin. All right, first, let me just say that James Harden, he's probably, he's got the best Euro step in the league. That's all he does, the killer Euro step from Harden. Now, Harden has a 78 rated Euro step. So what do you think Jeremy Lin's Euro step rating should be? Below that, probably? Well, Jeremy Lin has an 84 Euro step. That's six higher than James Harden. That doesn't really make sense to me. And that's the same for pretty much all of the layup attributes in this game, like the hop step, the step through uh, layup. They're all higher for Jeremy Lin. Now, I don't know if that makes sense, but hey, I'm gonna abuse it. We have 34 points in the first quarter with Jeremy Lin. I'm shooting 79% for three. Bang! I need a Mike Breen bang call. 16 for 20 start. And for the 100 point challenge, it's all about getting off to a good start. Oh, that should have gone in. There we go. Oh, there you go. Step back. Bang! Mike Breen. Bang! 41 and 440 to go in the second quarter already. I'm on pace for 763.5 points. A dec yeah, a decimal point. That's how beast Jeremy Lin is. Now this season, Jeremy Lin is only averaging 12 points and 4 assists, uh, primarily because he's a backup point card to Patrick Beverly. And I gotta say, Patrick Beverly, right now he's playing a lot better. He's making the threes, and also Patrick Beverly is a much, much, much better defender than Jeremy Lin. And I remember Patrick Beverly back when he was playing in other countries in Europe. And he was struggling to make uh, the roster of an NBA team. I remember he got invited to the Miami Heat uh, Summer League and their training camp, but didn't end up making the team. Uh, but now he's got the starting role over Lynn. And look at this. It's Lynn on Lynn crime. The blue shirt Lynn gets it to go to give him 60 points in the first half. So all I need is 40 in the second. That's 20 per quarter. Oh, post moves. Po oh, get in there. Come on. Ashik back to Lynn. The post moves are killing the Houston Rockets, the bad Houston Rockets, not the good one. And did you just see James Harden flopping at midcourt? Oh, another flop. Who was that? Dwight Howard? I think it was. Now, like I said, the Euro step is what James Harden is best at. You can put right below that, the flop is what James Harden is best at. Oh, another three-pointer? Stop it, Jeremy. Stop it. 72 points, 240 to go in the third. Now, I remember someone commented, sorry, I don't remember who it was, I don't remember your name, but I remember someone commented that the third quarter they notice is when I have most, most difficulty scoring. Oh, there was the Euro step, the Euro step on Omri Caspi. He is showing why he's better than James Harden in this game, 80 points. Oh, man. But someone said that the third quarter uh, was most difficult for me to score, and I'd say it is because... Uh, with the timeout situation, I get seven per game. The first quarter, I don't call any because he's fresh to start the game, no need. Uh, second quarter, I call two two timeouts. Third quarter, I call one timeout, and then that leaves me four to call in the fourth quarter. 
because that's when he's most tired. Oh, step back for three. Bang! Oh, I need a Mike Breen call on that one. Bang! But uh, yeah, the third quarter is definitely most difficult because for some reason that's when he's most tired and I try to save my timeouts. Another! Bang! 93! He is making it rain from downtown. He's got seven threes this game. He's got 96 points. One th oh no! Get the ball back. Come on, we got 130. We're kind of slacking off this quarter, but that gives me 98. 130 to go. We got plenty of time. Let's make it happen. Oh, get the steal. Chandler Parsons back to Jeremy Lin. Dunk it. Ah, 100 points for Jeremy Lin. Let's go. 30. Oh, look at Dwight Howard. What are you doing handling the ball? Where's Jeremy? Dunk it on him one time. One time. 102 points for Jeremy Lin. And I end up getting the ball back with one second. One more three-pointer. No. So that's it. 102 points for Jeremy Lin. The 100-point challenge is complete. And I think it's safe to say Lin Sanity is back. Oh, man. The Houston Rockets had no chance against the Houston Rockets. Jeremy Lin could not guard Jeremy Lin this game. Jordan player of the game, 102 points. Oh, zero assists. Oh, King Griff, you suck. Your point guard had zero assists. You suck. You're a noob. All right, 102 points, three steals, only three turnovers, 41 for 77 shooting, three pointers, eight for 18, free throws, 12 for 16, and six dunks for Jeremy Lin.